everyone. And from St. Thomas Episcopal Parish School, Happy New Year. I hope you had an incredible winter break with your family and friends. Hope it was a time for you to get some rest, maybe do some reflection on the upcoming year, and also start that list of those dreaded New Year's resolutions. For me, these past two weeks have been wonderful, spending time with family and friends and simply reconnecting with the city of Miami. Of course, I'm very excited about life after January 9th. We've got so much in store for our families, our students and faculty, and I just can't wait to get back to work. While it's been wonderful spending time with family and friends these past two weeks, for me, it's also been a great time to reset, to reflect on the past six months. And I'd be lying if I didn't say my main focus has been the students. I am so impressed on a daily basis with the students' energy, excitement in the classroom, and on the sports field. They understand the importance of empathy, they understand the importance of being kind, and they do it every day. So the students, you get an A plus for the first half of the year. I've also spent a lot of time thinking about the people I work with on a daily basis. I'm grateful to be working with an administration that pushes me and a faculty that keeps me laughing on a daily basis. It is our faculty that are really the driving force behind what makes St. Thomas the school that it is. We have had a wonderful start to the school year and it's gonna get even better in the second half of the year. We've got the carnival and the gala, so much to celebrate as a community. But before we do that, I wanna share a few reminders with you. And first, I wanna start with arrival. As always, students in kindergarten through fifth grade are welcome to be dropped off in the circle at the front of the school. Over the past couple of months, we've started to see red shirts, three and four year old red shirts. And we've been a little lax in this rule because so many of the students are able to pop right out of their car seat and get into the car line and be able to be walked into school with one of our fifth grade walkers. Unfortunately, not every student is capable of doing this. So moms and dads, if you have a three or four year old and they're still struggling to get out of the car seat and you have to get out of the car, we're gonna ask you to simply park as always and walk through the butterfly garden. We appreciate all of the families who join us each morning at FLAG. I strongly encourage those of you who simply do the drop off and head out to park your car and come inside and join us for a FLAG. It's a really wonderful way to start the day. That being said, we're a pretty big crowd and it can get pretty noisy. So do the best you can that when anyone's speaking, we're all mindful. And of course, during any prayer or any song, we're mindful as well. I can't state it enough. We are so thankful that our parents join us each morning on campus. But moms and dads, I'm going to ask that just be mindful when you're outside of the hallways, when our teachers are already conducting classroom activities in the morning, getting their students organized for the day. There's nothing more enjoyable as a young child to start your day with an, a routine. And it's important that we're able to do those. So moms and dads, just wait outside in the hallways until we start flag. Finally, as a reminder, each month we celebrate Eucharist as a community. And instead of starting in flag, we will head right to the chapel. Only once a month during Eucharist. So 2022 is a wrap. On behalf of everyone at St. Thomas Episcopal Parish School, I wanna wish you and your families a happy and healthy 2023. And go Tigers.